Hey, what's up everyone? This is Craymon and we are back for another Summoner's War Siege video. So today we'll be trying to showcase the Mokwu, the Dark Art Master. And a day after I got the Dark One, I got this Wind One as well. But it's not ready yet. The runes is still plus 9 plus 12 because I do not really have mana at the moment due to the artifacts. <laughs> so yeah, this is Cheongpong. We will not be using him for this siege, but maybe in the future, alright? And yeah, we will just head into the siege battle, which is ongoing at the moment. It just started like, uh, yeah, half an hour ago. So yeah, we are up against Moonming 2 and Monte Carlo, alright? Two Thai guilds, uh, the last time we fought these two at the same time. It was pretty interesting because both guilds were only hitting us until like 3 quarter way through the battle, they started hitting each other. So yeah, we will see how this will be going later. Monte Carlos at 12 and moving at 14. And yeah, I'll just briefly show you the defenses that they are running on their outer towers. So. Yeah, this is Moonming 2 Snap Force. I remember it's the Kumon Vigo Skogos with Trussars as well. Yep, that's one Trussar. And another one, so two Trussar, three Skogos. Okay, for Tower 11, but yeah, they mainly focus a lot on the Skogo defense for Moonming's side. So this is their Tower 11 full Louis John Skogo. For the middle 10, it's LD Towers, yeah? So there's a Gianna, Rahul, another Gianna, and a Julian. Alright, this one is pretty interesting. And for Monte Carlo side, it's the Kumon Orion Miho. We run this one as well for one of our main towers. And it's still pretty good actually. So yeah. Tower 9, another LG tower. Yeah, Zephe Artamiel, I remember. And oh okay. There's a Galen Clara Savannah. Two of them as well. Okay. For Tower 10, it's Wow, they got so many Gianas, this guild. Yeah, and another one tree. I remember Benz has one as well, so 4 Gianna in this tower. Seems like I missed the HOH, right? <laughs> so yeah, we will, we will be probably only starting later on in the day, yeah? See you guys later. The battle has finally started here. We will head right into this Kumun Orion Miho with our usual bomber comp. So yeah, there was like some very intense staring showdown yesterday. This is actually the second half of the siege battle already, you know? Yeah, so three guilds all do not want to make any mistake. Respect that. And yeah, we finally get to start here. Okay, we land all our bombs. Beautiful. First win in the back, guys. So yeah, for this offense, it's really versatile because you can use it against this defense and the common Vigor. Skogos as well, so very very good stuff, you should make one if you're having troubles with this, alright? Tower 11 just opened, we'll be hitting this one with our friend Lauren and Bert. A really consistent team against this one, where you just need to work on the John and just leave the Skogo last, honestly. Because at most Gogo gets is like one rock off and you'll be able to turn cycle until you get all your heals back up. Especially with Vert able to lifesteal back as well, gaining a lot of turns. Um, yeah, I do not see us losing. Even with the artifact buff. Uh, because with artifacts all you get is extra 3000 HP. Which is just 1000 damage across the board with your 3 units, right? So 
So yeah, I, I do not find artifacts that detrimental in that sense for this defense, alright? And yeah, the John is going down here. After the John, we will be working on this Luis. Yeah, like I said, we leave this Kogo last. He has the rock up. The only way for you to lose is if the Skogo gets two rock off at one go, which is about four procs. So if that happens, then yeah, the game just wants you to lose. You can't complain anything about that. <laughs> But uh, that is rarely the case. I've not experienced that. At most three, three turns, he gets the other rock off, but he can't drop it. Yeah, and by the time I'll be able to control him, because with Lauren and Bird, you'll be able to control a single target unit, basically all the way. They will never get a turn. And yeah, that's the beauty of this offense. Yeah. And yeah, from here we can auto the Skogo will be going down. And yep, today we will not lose. I'm gonna focus really hard. <laughs> Alright, I saw one of my gamemates lost this defense on this tower. So we'll be heading right in with our Susano, Orion, and Lucia second awakening. Alright, one of you guys uh, suggested me to use this offense. So yeah, I'll just try it out. Okay, he got the armor break on my Elusia and a violent prop. Oh shit, we are losing the Elusia right off the bat. I'm not too sure whether we can come back from this, but we'll see, yeah. I think we harmless prank again. Alright, slicing win 22,000 and the and the new Orion dies. So what I'm assuming it's a very YOLO full speed swift build on that Orion honestly I don't prefer that build if you could always go violent on it because of the extra turns that you get so yeah this cool moon should be dead here and we might be able to come back from this can we get a stun no heal block but I think it's fine because we reduce the attack bar and we do this fly fly see crushing damage on the artifacts really good <laughs> we will be hitting this tower 9 on Monte Carlo's side and yeah we'll fight this O2 love defense the Tianlang, Julian and Beta yeah I remember I did this with a Diaz Kumun Harmonia kind of comp right uh, most importantly, your Kumon should be on Destroy Runes because you do not have any reliable armor breaker apart from Diaz's second skill. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, can we. Oh, we didn't get the armor break on the Julian. Which is not good because we need the attack debuff as well. Didn't get it. Unfortunate. But I think we should still be fine. Okay. We have to slowly work on the beta here. Once a good portion of HP is destroyed, we should be able to kill it fairly easily, alright? Gets a stun on my Diaz as well. And I don't think I got the cleanse. Oh, this is not good. We have to heal Diaz back to full. <sighs> but it doesn't matter, the additional procs. <laughs> okay. Now this is pretty interesting, we have to cleanse that. I'm not too sure whether we can still win. Okay, we are really lucky we got the heal block on the beta there. So she didn't, she didn't heal for anything. And we will be able to kill her off now. 2v2. And one thing I'm liking at the moment is the attack bar of the enemy side. Because the Julian will be moving first, then only the Tianlang. Okay, we continue working on the Tianlang here. 
As long as I don't get stunned and stuff like that, we should be fine, yeah? I think we'll just heal up here. <coughs> and yep, the Tielung is down. We will be able to kill this one. Okay. Pretty close, actually. Okay, we just play it safe, heal up. Noble Agreement, and boom! Almost 20,000 nuke without armor break. Really nice. We will be hitting this tower 10 here. It's the Gianna Tower, right? So whenever you see something like this, the Sierra John Gianna, you, uh, two very important units is the Rakuni and Grogo, alright? But make sure all your team is not on wheel. Uh, that's very important. For Garo, you can switch it up for something like a Rika, even a Kumun. Will be fine. And yeah, we'll just work on the Sierra first. Because she's the one that can detonate the bombs. We do not really want that to happen actually. Okay, they got a full stun on my team. But I think we should still be fine. We get a stun of our own on the Sierra. Uh, nice proc. Okay, we do the second skill on ourselves for extra heals. <coughs> okay, 9000 damage. The Sierra is going down really soon. I need to hit it one more time, I feel. Okay, that's a good counter. Yep, triple revenge is really good against this for Grago. And now you'll be able to auto from here basically because all the units will be hitting the Grago. Uh, just try to work on the Gianna. Okay, gets the provoke on both of my units. A stun on my Grogo as well, but Grogo is only there to just tank all the damage, right? You don't really need him. To, you don't really need him to do like damage and stuff like that. It's more on like counter into the stuns that he has built in, and yeah. <coughs> okay. This John is getting pretty annoying, so I think we'll just move targets here. <laughs> okay, nice counter into a stun. And yeah. If I have Rabbit's agility... Okay, doesn't really matter if my Garo moves here, the John will be dead. And left this Gianna alone. Okay. We are doing really good on offense for today. <laughs> Trying to do my best so that I can showcase Mock Rule in case I lose later. This tower will be opening here and we'll be fighting this Odin Bastet Perna. So, yeah, whenever I see Odin leader, they are just inviting me to use this comp, the Miho Copper Immensity. A very straightforward fight where I just Marching shout the copper and kill off the bastard and we can press auto. <laughs> yeah, but uh, for this comp to work, of course, you need a good swift set. Not to say really good, but at least 180 to 190 speed will be fine. So that you do not get cut by this Odin, which he can potentially kill off your copper, alright? Or even the Perna. And yeah, once you kill the Bastet first, you will be able to auto this and win. Because there's no way for these two units to be less than 100% crit rate with Odin leader. Okay, left the Perna and boom, Perna is dead. Alright, so this is our sixth win. Okay, we regain a lot of control back on our side and we are trying to get some bonus here, alright? We will be hitting this John Rahul Tilmas 
Whenever I see John Rahul, I have to bring in my Tetra with a Leo. Since this guild doesn't play Savannah that often, I can afford to use my Leo here. And yep, head right into this one. Try to work on the Tiomas as much as I can. Tetra is there to cleanse off the beneficial block and the John's provoke, yeah? And it's actually a very straightforward fight. You chances of you losing is pretty low. Unless Tiomas goes crazy on Tetra, then you might be in trouble. Because my Tetra isn't ruined that well. It's just here for the offense. But as long as it works, right? So, okay, we resisted the armor brick. I think we have to work on the Rahul because of the that hug buff putting on the Tiomas. We can't really do much on him. And yeah, we'll be trying to fast forward this fight because it's gonna be taking pretty long, alright? And yep, John is down. We got this. Alright, at this point we are doing like a free for all for our guild members to hit any towers because it will be ending pretty soon. Right, so I think we can finally bring in our Mokwo with the Molong Icarus. Honestly, don't really need him, but <laughs> uh, I do not really know where to bring him. I still haven't figured out any good offense with it so yeah probably in the future because it's still not max skill uh literally zero skill ups at the moment because i've already used all my devil mons on the agar and light pirate captain <laughs> i was running out of vampires and what's that called pirate captains yeah so uh, yeah, for I needed to find artifacts as soon as possible, can't really wait. And yeah, very straightforward fight here, we snipe off the Skogo earlier and we just need to turn cycle our skills back up online to kill off either the Harmonia or Luis. And yeah, so basically this showcase is just to see like the skill effects of the Mokwu, pretty cool. I'll show a few more clips then we'll just skip it right to the end alright because I'm pretty sure this will be taking quite some time and yet then the strip isn't that convincing you know maybe after max skilling it but even then I checked it's about 75% maybe need a slight buff will be good I really like the third skill because it's very unique where you can pair it with like a Niho or a Fingyan you just put the provoke up and you get to cleanse your whole team as well maybe another slight buff probably like a 15 to 20 percent heal will be very nice but honestly still overall happy with it just do not know where to use it at the moment, right? And yeah, one more time I'll show you the skill and we'll skip it till the end. And okay, we are back. And we'll be able to snipe this harmonia off. Okay, this will be another win. We have two more swords left. Okay, we cannot really pick our fights now, we just have to head right in because all my guildmates are trying to finish up their swords. And we'll go into this one with the Fengyan Veladro Rina, right? A very straightforward fight again. So, 
all we have to do is kill the Perna off twice and should be able to auto from there. And yeah, can we strip the attack buff? That's really nice. So the Perna is not gonna do much damage on my Feng Yan because I think this is my sec. Wait, I think this is my main Feng Yan, I'm not too sure now because I've already used one earlier. Okay, we slowly work on the Perna second life. We heal up for a bit. Put the cleanse up, all the good stuff. And yep. Perna should be dying to the Feng Yan really soon. Counter. And yep, kills, kills himself. <laughs> and from here, we'll just work on the Bastet, I feel. Left. The Odin here and he already used his ignore so there's no stacks and it's dead. For our last sword we'll be doing this tower 5 here. I think yeah we'll head into this one. I feel like using my Bulwark Amelia Skogul. It's really safe against this because they provide a lot of immunity and basically buffs for my Bulwark to get stacks and on my Amelia side I'm providing my Bulwark one stack every turn so also another straightforward fight I do not see myself losing as long as I kill off the Betar I will be fine from there so we'll try to work on the Betar and Ophelia whenever the threat state is up we will use it on the Ophelia right? So okay, we deal some damage to the Tiomas here. Uh yeah, we just throw the rock up, cleanse the armor break, and we already got five stacks back. <laughs> That's the beauty of this offense, you know. Whenever you see like they are going heavy buff oriented defense, just bring a bulwark if you have with a immunity sustainer something like Amelia you can go you can go something like Wusa as well Wusa Louise there's a lot of variants to this I do not have those units but yeah wherever you have friend even friend yeah all really good and yeah we are we are already back at five stacks we do not have to put the armor buff Solely work on this Ophelia because he's gonna put the trap back up <laughs> and we have 5 stacks again. Beautiful. So yeah, once either Beta or Ophelia is down, uh, the, the wind should be in the back. And now Beta 2v3, we get our rock up. Yeah, I think we just use this third skill on it and bam, Beta is dead. Tiomas on its last hit and nice we got our 10 win today finally the battle has ended here Moonming 2 got second place followed by Monte Carlo and this is the map layout at the end of the battle we will be heading over to open the rubbish box real quick and wrap things up for this video uh, in two weeks time the tournament battle will be starting as well so pretty excited for that and for Mogwool, the Dark Art Master Showcase seems pretty mediocre on Siege Offense but we'll see after I max skill him alright. I'll try to figure out something for him. In RTA wise, I can't complain, it's pretty good. <coughs> and yeah, so this is the end of the video guys. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more Summoner's War Siege content. And have a good weekend everyone. I'll see you next week.